Hey guys, back again with my brother Royal, and today we're gonna to talk about how to set up one of my favorite punches, which is the left hook. Let's get into it. So the first way to set up a left hook is gonna be a technique I learned from Roy Jones Jr. He was a master at this, and he scored multiple knockdowns doing this very technique, and it works like a charm. The key to setting up shots is tricking the subconscious mind. And once your subconscious mind starts picking up on patterns, it starts to think that it's figured the opponent out. And that's when you come in with the kill shot, right? So, so that's what we're doing now. So what we're gonna do for this first technique is we're gonna jab to the head and then we're gonna jab to the body, right? And you wanna make these jabs hurt. You wanna throw them with bad intentions. You wanna throw them like that's what you're trying to do. You wanna make your opponent believe that that's the end goal, that you're not trying to do anything else. So you wanna throw them with intention. Right, so I'm going to throw these jabs, I'm going to go boom, boom, right, back to back, boom, boom, and I'm going to just go to that body, boom, boom, and as soon as I feel like he starts figuring me out, like you see him just parry my body jab, I'm going to go to the head, boom, bang, pop, and come upstairs with that left hook and tag him. So throw those jabs with bad intentions, boom, boom, head to the body, and then as soon as they get a feel for the body, you want to just shoot that left hook upstairs. But what you want to do is get good with that step pivot with the hook. You see Floyd Mayweather doing this against Diego Corrales, watch that fight. Learn from it, master it, and practice it, inspire it, practice it on the back, just coming in with that leaping hook, boom, boom, and bop. So this next way to set up the left hook is going to be a reverse one-two, right? So rather than shoot the traditional one-two, what you're going to do is shoot the right hand first, followed by a jab, right? So you're going to go boom, boom, right? It's going to be the same concept, boom, boom, right? And eventually what's going to happen is they're going to start parrying off your jab or parrying off both of your punches, right? They're going to try to block those shots. So as soon as you shoot the right and I shoot this punch, as soon as he starts parrying it, I got the green light, right? So next, I shoot the right hand, boom, and I come with that left hook over the top. It works every time, guys. Unless you find the same sparring partner over and over again, they're not gonna see that shot coming because once a fight actually happens, everything you do is on autopilot, right? So you're catering to their subconscious mind. So you wanna create those patterns, throw it off, and then set up that shot. You, you told me that it was coming, I still didn't see it, right? <laughs> Next tip, you want to practice a little bit because it doesn't come naturally to most people, but you want to set up the double right hand. This is going to be good for two reasons. One, is this is going to help you set up the left hook, but two, most people are not expecting a second power shot. Right, so what you're going to do is you're just going to shoot the right hand and follow it up with another right hand. Right, a lot of guys aren't expecting that, right? They're used to just right hand and the left hook following it. So what you want to do to throw them off is just shoot that right hand, boom, boom, twice. Right, you could do a fast, pop, pop. Right, it doesn't have to have the pivot or the hip into it. You just pop, pop, shooting that hand. You still want to snap that shoulder, pop, pop. And eventually, he's going to start looking out, trying to defend that right side, pop, pop. And then you come in with that left hook. Works every time. And the thing is, you don't just have to go to the head with the left hook, right? Especially if you throw those shots up top with the previous techniques and with this one. You throw these shots up top, you can come in, boom, and hit him with that body shot. That's how Luke Campbell got rid of, how Ryan Garcia got rid of. Luke Campbell. So this next one is going to be again going off of Floyd Mayweather and the Diego Corrales fight. You want to basically bait your opponent into running into a left hook, right? So what you want to do is you want to create a pretty fast pace of fighting off your back foot, right? So you're basically going to just boom, 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 step back. And when your opponent starts chasing you, right, when they start walking you down to try to keep up with you, right? So you're going to be coming back, he's going to walk you down, and then you just want to bam come in on that left hook when they think you're out of range. But this has to be a leaping shot because you have to throw it when you're out of range. So, you, and you gotta be intuitive about it. Make sure you know that they're not getting ready to throw their punch, right? When you see them mid-step is when you wanna throw the shot, right? So I'm, I'm walking back, I'm walking back aggressively, bam, come in with that left hook over the top, or bam, come in with that left hook to the body. Close that distance super fast and meet them there before they have a chance to react to it. Most people, are not ready for a left hook coming from that distance, right? They're not ready for a left hook coming from that range. So they're gonna try to block up front when you come in from that leaping distance. And every, as soon as they try to do that, boom, you're gonna meet them with that left. Now, if you notice, I've been referencing some of the best left hookers between Floyd Mayweather and Roy Jones Jr. in this video, and that's because you gotta study guys like this if you wanna get good, right? And this next one comes from Roy Jones Jr. He actually was showing that Judah how to do this. And you basically just wanna parry off the jab, right? So. And this works especially well with guys who drop their right hand, right? So what you're going to do is as soon as they throw the jab, you parry it and you make them focus on getting countered here, right? On, on getting countered off the jab. So what you're going to do, you're going to parry the jab and come back with your left hook, right? And you can parry either hand. You can parry the left or the right and come back with that left hook. So if he throws his right, 
boom, boom, come back with the right foot. The pair is one of the most underrated defensive moves that you can make. And what you want to do is use it to your advantage because it kills your opponent's momentum. Right? It doesn't matter which hand he throws, just that little motion, that little block, it shoots his momentum in a different direction and allows me an opening to count. And this last one is going to be a pretty simple catch and shoot, right? This works well against other hookers, right? When, when you got a guy who... Shit, teach me that one, man. Right? <laughs> <laughs> what can I say instead against other guys who like to hook? Yeah, there you go, yeah. So this last one is going to be a simple catch and shoot, right? This works well against other guys who like to hook. And basically, you're just gonna catch and shoot, right? So as soon as he throws his left hook, I'm gonna block and I'm gonna come back with my own shot, or I'm gonna block and I'm gonna come back with my shot downstairs, right? You wanna do this quick and you wanna drill this so that you're constantly moving with that fast momentum. As soon as somebody touches your glove, it's gotta be like a reflex for you to come back and shoot that shot. Left hook is a really powerful punch, so you definitely wanna practice different ways to try and set it up. These are just examples, but really you wanna come up with your own ways, things that are natural to you, or ways to set up patterns and help you set up shots. And this logic can be applied to set up any shot. The left hook just happens to be one of my favorites, so that's what I got into first, and I'll have many more videos coming on how to set up different punches. Don't forget to follow Royal on Instagram. He's got a ton of content there to help inspire you to look better, to feel better, to get stronger. He's a guy that's mastered being aesthetically pleasing while being super strong. We're talking about a guy that reps 400 pounds like it's nothing and still has a six pack. Also, don't forget to check out the Fight Store. It's got a ton of gear there. And I've got a book coming out, guys. I've wrote a book that details everything I talk about in these videos with some more stuff and more unique information that revolves a lot around the working out and the actual mindset you gotta have to become a fighter. Look out for that coming really soon and I'll announce it in one of my future videos within the next few weeks, so look out for that. Other than that, I'm Sean Broad Brothers. This is Royal Georges and we'll ball with you guys next time.